Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Yuan Deacon from Sayoji Z Kimono. As you can see, I have quite an array of Koshihimo laying in front of me. For quite some time, I wanted to do a video about the different kind of accessories that are out there, what you can buy, um, the pros and cons of, of each, and simply show you that what you had currently have doesn't mean it has to be the only option that is out there. Now these are, well, quite a few of them, are fairly traditional in the way that well, what the, fa the fabric, um, what they look like. like these um, elastic ones, look here, they're fairly modern. But also the way, uh, the way, <laughs> the colour and all. Um, these days you can find even, I suppose, even rainbow colored koshihimo. You can even make them yourself if you wish. Like, the only thing that it needs to be is made from a very sturdy fabric. So, because they obviously need to withstand quite a lot of pulling on, if you work kimono uh, every day, on an everyday basis. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it. Oh, before I, uh, I start, the, like I said, these are all women's. I've ha asked a friend of mine, eh, who is a male, if he can provide me with a picture of his koshihimo, given they look quite different sometimes from women's koshihimo. So I wanted to start off with these, which are, I suppose, the most traditional ones, the ones that are usually sold in sets, and the ones that are most easily um, available for you to buy. These are made from uh, cotton and muslin, like a combination between cotton and wool. These are quite sturdy and they easily keep, uh, keep their shape in, um, in whenever you wear kimono. Now, the only thing that I will say about these is that they wrinkle fast, really, really fast. And you have to get an iron, otherwise you can hardly get them out. Like, I don't know if you're able to tell, but I haven't ironed this this one in, I would say, definitely over a year. Yes, I'm quite ashamed of telling you that, but I, just keeping it real. These just get wrinkles, but they're very handy, and usually they're sold in sets of three, or even sets of four or five. I can't remember, I'll have to look it up. But these are very, very common for you to find, and often they're not that expensive either. So moving on. So then you have these ones. I'll just get it out for you. Like, I don't pull them tight, I just tie them very loosely. Now, this one's made from silk, as you can probably tell by the sheen, and it has some. Uh, Shibori. We're gonna hope and can show you. It's... I hope you can see. Look. It's quite dark outside because it's raining. So I, <laughs> I really hope that you can you'll be able to see. Well, this one being silk, being very smooth and soft. It does work, um, but if you have kimono that are very slippery and would tend to unravel faster than other kimono would, these don't do as good as a job as um, the ones over here and some synthetic ones that I have. But these are, this one I like to particularly use for underneath um, the bust area to tie my colors off, because it does a really good job for that. So I just grab these um, four. Now this one's a little bit different, but these three are quite similar to the muslin ones over there, although they're made of a synthetic fabric rather than um, like muslin. These do uh, such a good job of keeping their shape. Not only when I finish dressing, in whenever 
I wear kimono, but also during the day and after a few hours. They are less likely um, to um, unfold or lose tension or whatever compared to either, uh, especially the, the silk one, also sometimes the, uh, the muslin one. With these, yes, they do wrinkle, um, you have to iron them at some point, but what I like about these is that they fall really, really flat. So I like to use them with my um, my smaller kimono, because I have a fair few of them. So I think, uh, this one, this somehow is really wide. I hope you can see him. And like, it folds up like that when it's tied. And this one, I can pull it all I want, but it doesn't budge, it doesn't stretch, which might happen with the silk one sometimes. But these, as they're a little bit wider, um, they are not as suited for me whenever I wear a smaller kimono because it will show and that's why the others are much more suited at least for me but one thing with this one is i haven't seen them online a lot from time to time i do but either these or the ones over here are much more um coming for you to find i bet you every kimono seller has these while the other options well, except for the elastic ones, the full elastic ones are less common, I guess. Like most of these I bought in a like a Kitsuke bundle, I think. I didn't for these. Now the last ones I want to show you about. As I said before, they come in all different colours, patterns, the designs, whatever. So you have two different colors, like these, uh, there's a white one and there's a pink one. Now these are full elastic and they stretch quite wide. Like I have to really stretch my whole body and I can still pull quite a bit. What is, I guess, much more of a pro than with the other ones. Uh, these are all a set length. You can adjust them. While with this, let me see if I can make it focus. Yeah, there we go. You can adjust these and quite easily as well. So whatever. Um, width you need to have, you simply adjust them and you wear it. So these are perfect if you have like a wider hip, um, whip, hip size or waist size because these may be too short for you or you have to have them like long, made longer or you ha simply make them yourself. Like these are much more easy for you to wear then. What I also like about these is, especially if you go out to a restaurant or whatever, after you have had your meal, you'll know that your stomach has expanded and because some of these can sit tight, it can become a little bit more painful. Like I've had, had um, stomach ache just because um, my Kyokoshi Himo became too tight. So what is more, I guess more of a pro versus a con on these is because they stretch. They allow your body um, to just expand that, especially after a meal. And it won't like cause time you to have like a stomach ache or any other inconvenience because they simply um, stretch with your body. Now, I have to um, I put in a screenshot for you because there is a, yeah, I could say a hybrid version between these ones, the regular ones, and these. I'll just insert it now. As you can see, 
in the middle of the koshihimo there's this elastic piece well the uh, the edges are just like any other himo the the middle part i believe the um, underside is rubber so it will help with the himo staying in place and not move around as the others might do i haven't tried this one out on sale for myself yet i would have to um you know buy them in order to to try them but they look really um really nice they might also help with those who have sensitive areas in um in certain places of of your body especially on on the belly on like the uterus area especially for women so that's one of the big big pros of these elastic hemo they so with that, I will let you guys go. I will insert a clip of how to use this emo, and then I will hope I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.